All right, guys, good morning. Mr. G Roll out of bed, bringing y'all another game review. And today we're looking at Runer. It's a top down, isometric, twin stick action shooter with a cyberpunk vibe. It's set in the year 2091 in the cyberpunk metropolis of Rengkok. Sounds like Bangkok, it's not. Apparently, we're a wired psychopath and we're trying to go save our brother and release him and kill our boss and our hacker friends helping us out. Honestly, I thought it was like Arnold Schwarzenegger's old movie from the early 90s or late 80s called Running Man. I thought we were in some sort of game being forced to get killed. There's a story in there. Uh, it just doesn't release it to you all right at once. Um, the art style is absolutely beautiful in this game and the controls are relatively easy to pick up. You're going to have some action skills like dashing, you're going to be able to use a shield, you're going to be able to pick up different weapons as you go through the game and it's pretty easy to pick it up and start playing it, but it definitely falls into the category one of those easy to, to play, hard to master kind of games. Um, and the art style, the graphics, the sound are absolutely beautiful. I've just got to say right now, I'm not usually into these kinds of games because one, I'm getting older and slower and I can only hack slash and shoot so fast these days. But if it's that's your kind of game, like a bullet hell, twin stick shootery shoot thing, then this game definitely has that nailed down along with really cool atmosphere and a cool story. Um, so do I give this one a recommendation? Well, currently it's a little bit spendy. It's 20 euros on Steam. I fortunately was able to pick this thing up for free because it was on one of the Epic Game Store's giveaway days, so I was able to just go ahead and grab it. Um, but if it's the kind of game that you think you'd be interested in, sure, absolutely go ahead and pick it up. I feel like I would definitely wait for it to go on sale if it, sale if it was me. Um, that being said, uh, I mean, really... It makes shooting and whacking stuff look pretty awesome. All right, I'm going to catch you guys later. Be good. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, Mr. G. Out.